Madam, uh, Madam Speaker, I'd like to yield at this time two minutes to my good friend and chairwoman of the Subcommittee on Health and also the co-sponsor of this important piece of legislation, Representative Julia Brownlee from California. Gentlelady is recognized for two minutes. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise today in support of H.R. 958, the Protecting Moms Who Serve Act, which I was proud to co-lead with Congresswoman Underwood, uh, Congressman Bill Arrakis, and Congressman Fitzpatrick. This bill would ensure that veterans get the high-quality mater maternal care they have earned by codifying the Maternity Care Coordination Program. Additionally, this bill will require GAO to report on maternal mortality and morbidity among veterans. I thank the chairman for his support on this issue, and I'm proud that this bill passed the committee with broad bipartisan support. As you may know, among developed countries, the United States has one of the highest maternal mortality rates in the world, with an average rate of 17.2 deaths per 100,000 live births. For women of color, the rates are even higher. For black women, the maternal mortality rate is 41.7 deaths per 100,000. And for American Indian and Alaska Native women, it is 28.3 deaths per 100,000 live births. More than 50% of pregnancy-related deaths happen after delivery. Today, there are 2 million women veterans living in the United States, and women compromise the fastest growing subpopulation of both the military and veteran populations. Yet many of their health needs go unaddressed in a VA system that is not, has not evolved to equitably serve a rapidly changing population. As the chairwoman of the Women's Veterans Task Force and chair of the House Veterans Affairs Subcommittee on Health, I am proud to join Congresswoman Underwood, who has truly, truly been a champion. She is the founder and co-chair of the Black Maternal Health Caucus in fighting to end disparities in maternal care for women veterans. Our veterans have sacrificed so much for our country. It is past time that we address this inequity. I urge my colleagues to support our women veterans and vote yes on H.R. 958. And with that, Madam Speaker, as your gavel goes down, I yield back my time. Gentlelady yields back. Chair now recognizes the gentleman from Illinois. 